Stop enabling rape. Stop this rape culture. What was she wearing? Why was she reading in the church? Hello guys, you're welcome to my YouTube channel where we talk about just anything and everything. Here you learn, smile and laugh. <laughs> Let's go straight into it. I'm sure you're missing me already. This is the legal pepe. Hello everyone. You're welcome to my YouTube channel. So this is Ada once again. And I am the only legal pepe. So if you are new to my channel, thank you so much. Please ensure you subscribe. Like as I'm talking now, just hit the subscribe button. Like hit the bell notification so you can get notified when next i upload a video and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for trusting in my ability to release great content to you so today we are going to be talking about something that i don't find funny it's about rape basically so we know we all know about these training stories that has been going around now about how a lot of ladies are being raped and even killed. We have heard about this university student Ua, who was raped and killed. We've heard about the 12 years old girl who was raped by 11 men. In short, and these are just stories that we know about. There are countless stories that we don't even know about, we don't even get to hear about because the victims can't even talk. And most of them can't talk because if they talk, there will be someone somewhere trying to give excuses for rape. So what I'm trying to address right now is on um, rape apologists and enablers. See, it's bad enough that people are being raped. Women are being raped left, right, and center. And now that um, we are all very mad about it because it's getting too much. We are making posts about it. We are talking about it. Yet some rape enablers and apologists are saying all what not. That's what I want to address. If at this point where people are really angry about this whole rape issue, you feel the need to talk. You better you had better be saying something that is sensible. Like, you had better be coming correct. If you know you don't have any sensible thing to say, please shut up. Stop enabling rape. Stop this rape culture. I don't know. I think a lot of a lot, a lot of people, a lot of rape apologists don't know what this rape is. This is not the time to show the world that you do not have sense if you don't have sense. If you are a rape apologist, this is not the time to show the world that you do not have sense. Stop asking stupid questions. What was she wearing? Why was she reading in the church? This is not the time. If you hear that lady is raped and murdered, and what comes to your mind is to ask those stupid questions, then you are not only a rape enabler and apologist, you are also a rapist. You know why I say you are just you are also a rapist? Because that means if a lady is inappropriately dressed in your opinion, you can rape her. That's what it means. Then let me talk about those men, yes, that they think that it is sensible to be saying men also get raped at a time like this. Like, do you think at all? Like, do you think at all? You remember that men also get raped when a woman gets raped. Women are being raped and murdered daily. And now we are crying out, we are talking, and you think it's appropriate to now say men also get naked too. Really? All these days, all these months, all these years, you do not remember that men get raped. You do not tell us men get raped. You do not remember. It is now, really. It is now you've woken up from your slumber. Now that people are saying it enough is enough. This enticement mentality that men, a lot of men have over women's bodies need to stop. 
stop raising bad stop raising men badly raise men well you now remember that men also get tricked are you okay like i don't, I don't know how some, 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 some of you think i don't know how some people think no one is saying men don't get raped but if you even want to if you want to compare the two in short you can't in short is a huge disrespect on raped victims to even compare the two it's a very huge disrespect a very huge disrespect like you as a man do you go out and you have to look over your shoulders do you if you as a man if you are robbed or if you are attacked by robbers do you fear being raped do you you as a man do you go out at night and you are so scared See, eh, we can't even count, you know, in short, we can't even count the statistics when it comes to women that are raped. I can say it for a fact that out of every hundred, out of hundred women, 90 have either been raped or almost raped. And that's my statistics. Out of every, out of hundred women, and this 90 I'm going to put in here is just because I don't want to overgeneralize. That's the only reason why I'm going to making it 90. And I've said 100, but you know, you don't, you don't, you don't overgeneralize. You don't generalize. Out of 100 women, I am, that one I'm sure of it, 90 have either been raped or almost tricked. And trust me, if you have gone through even almost rape what talk of rape the trauma is not funny at all it's not what you should even wish for to happen to your enemy so i was listening to one lady and she was really angry about this whole rape thing and she was like she wishes rape on the sisters mothers friends of every rape apologist or enabler and I said, God forbid. I said, God forbid, because as annoying as it is to see a rape apologist or enabler, it is still not something you should even wish to happen to the female figures in their life. No. We understand that. They don't, they don't, they don't, they don't care because it seems abstract. Even a rape apologist, even a rapist, even a rape enabler, would not want to imagine someone raping his sister, his mother, his girlfriend, his wife. You get because they feel to so other females is abstract, forgetting the fact that that person you just raped is someone's mother, is someone's child, is someone's wife, is someone's girlfriend. But then, that is it. So I think um that's what I want to talk about today. Rape apologists and rape enablers. Please, let's stop this rape culture. Let's stop this victim shaming. Let's stop making the victims um, become ashamed of themselves. Why we just let the culprits go? Let's stop it. Let's all join hands to say no to rape. Say no to rape enablers. Say no to rape apologists. And if you have a platform, use your platform to say no. This is not a time to start forming quiet. This is not a time to look the other way because it can be anybody. It can be anybody. So this is not the time to, if you have a platform, use it. Use it. So that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed this video, even though <laughs> this is not my usual video. I, like, I think it's just annoying. But I need to use my platform to bring this information here. If you like my video, please ensure you um, click on the like button and the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed. So that's it for today. Ensure you miss me because I'll miss you too. Bye.